completed by now for conducing the elections. He also said armed forces would also be deployed in aid of civil power law to maintain order during the polls. The CEC said the political party has already begun the preparations ahead of the general elections while the civil society members and political commentators were expressing their opinions as well. K.M. Nurul Huda said senior political leaders held dialogues with the Prime Minister for holding it in a participatory and fair election while many organizations from home and abroad are expressing their interest to observe the polls. The Election Commission chief expected the candidates and their supporters to comply with electoral laws and code of conduct. The CEC expressed the hope that the election would be held in a contesting mode and a participatory manner with participation of all political parties. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina hoisted the flags of Ramu region headquarters of Bangladesh Border Guard BGB and two newly raised battalions of the force in the suburb of the capital. The flag hoisting ceremony was held at BGB headquarters at Pilkana in the capital this morning. Two new battalions of the BGB were set up at Narayun Ganju and Ghazipur. Ramu region is the fifth region of the Bangladesh Border Guard situated at Ramu of Cox's Bazar district near Bangladesh Myanmar border. In her speech at the function, the Prime Minister urged the Bangladesh Border Guard to work with utmost honesty and sincerity to free the country from the onslaughts of militancy, terrorism and drugs. She said her government has a plan to establish four more BGB sectors, ten battalions, dog training and breeding units and new training institutions. An air wing of the BGB has been created which aims at strengthening the organizational base and operational capacities of the force. Two helicopters are being purchased soon for the air wing, she said. Addressing the Dorbar, the Prime Minister highlighted the steps taken by her government for the development of the BGB. She highly appreciated the role of the border force in curbing border smuggling. As a disciplined force, BGB has acquired the confidence of the people, she said, and disclosed, disclosed her government's plan to set up a BGB battalion in every 75 kilometers of the border area. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has emphasized on arranging more competitions for flourishing sports in the country. She made the call when players and officials of under-15 national football team met her at Gonu Bhabun this evening. The Prime Minister said, a mini stadium will be constructed at every upojila across the country. She said, the government has already introduced Bongo Bundu and Bongo Mata football tournament in primary school level to inspire the new generation in sports. Later, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina handed over checks of award money for becoming SAFF under 15 football champion. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina announced Boishaki Festival Allowance and 5% increment for teachers and employees of MPO listed non government educational institutions. The Prime Minister made the announcement while distributing checks for seed money of 100 crore taka among nine organizations and trust funds at Gonu Bhobun this evening. Nearly 5 lakh teachers and employees of the non-government educational institutions like schools, colleges, colleges and madrasas under the MPO will get the increment and boishaki allowance. Meanwhile, Sheikh Hasina handed over the checks for the seed money amounting to taka 100 crore to the trust funds and organizations. 
She donated 10 crore taka each as seed money to non-government educational institution teachers employees welfare trust and the non-government educational institution teachers employees retirement benefit board. Besides the fire service and civil defense welfare trust and the cultural activists welfare fund got 20 crore taka each as the seed money. The Prime Minister also handed over cheques of 10 crore taka each as seed money to the Bangubundhu National Agriculture Award Trust, the Bangubundhu Science and Technology Fellowship Trust and the Bangubundhu Sports Activists Welfare Foundation. Besides, she donated taka 5 crore to the Imam Muazzin Welfare Trust and the Neurodevelopmental Disabled Protection Trust each. Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Choudhury has made a curtsy call on the United Kingdom House of Commons Speaker Mr. John Burko today. During the call, during the call on, they exchanged views on various parliamentary affairs of Bangladesh and United Kingdom, and discussed about the various issues of women MPs in the World Conference. Prior to this, Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Choudhury attended a special dinner hosted by the UK Prime Minister Theresa May at 10 Downing Street yesterday. Speaker, now in United Kingdom, is to attend the conference. Awami League General Secretary Abadul Qadir has said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina have done a tremendous work holding talks with political parties. It is a milestone in the country's history. He said Prime Minister's initiative of dialogue acclaimed in home and abroad. Abadul Qadir told this to the journalists following a meeting of Awami League secretaries at Dhanmandi in the capital today. He said fresh date of Prime Minister's press conference will be announced soon. Postponement of the press conference has no relation with cancellation of Oikufron's road march. Obadul Qadir said Awami League candidates can collect party nomination forms from Dhanmundi office at 10 in the morning tomorrow. Eight booths are being opened for the candidates of eight dimensions of the country, he added. Earlier, a meeting was held there with Awami League General Secretary Badul Qadir in the chair. The meeting was attended, among others, by Awami League Joint General Secretaries Mahbub Bulalam Hanif, Jahangir Gobi Nanok and Abdurrahman, Office Secretary Dr. Abdus Subhan Gulab, Publicity and Publication Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud and Organizing Secretaries Ahmed Hussain, AFM Bahauddin Nasim, BM Muzamil Haq, Mezbauddin Mez Mez Siraj, Enamul Haq Shamim and Mohibul Hassan Chaudhry Nawfel. Health and Family Welfare Minister Mohamed Nasim has said no conspiracy will be tolerated centering the national election. He said this while addressing a function on the premises of Grishibid Institution at Farmgate in the capital today. On the occasion of joining ceremony of newly appointed 5,092 government nurses to different hospitals, Health Ministry and Directory General of Nursing and Midwifery organized the function. Health, Education and Family Welfare Division Secretary G.M. Saladin and Additional Secretary Shubhash Chandru Sharkar among others addressed the function with Directorate General of Nursing and with my free Director General Tondro Shikdar in the chair. Mohamed Nassim said diverse opinions might be cropped up over the election but if any quarter resorts to violence centering the election would be dealt with sternly. He said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina held to dialogues with all political parties for holding the election in a free and fair manner. Jashod President and Information Minister Sanul Haq Inu has said that already level playing field has been ensured and urged all the leaders of Oiko Front to take part in the upcoming general election and not to allow a chance to the hidden conspirators. He mentioned that mother of militancy and fire terrorist Khaled Azia is not a substitute to Sheikh Hasina. The substitute of Sheikh Hasina is only herself. The information minister was addressing a meeting organized by Jashod at Badur Ganj Bohumuki Model High School in Rangpur today. 
Amin Nadez Jashwat Central Joint General Secretary Noimul Ahsan Jewel Shakawat Ranga Member Komurish Roy Public Relations Affairs Secretary Sharif Ali Kobi Shopun spoke on the occasion. Hassanul Haq Inu said everyone has to vote in favor of Grand Alliance to reflect Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to ensure the continuation of development of country and to suppress the militancy, drug dealers and corrupted groups. He urged all the leaders and activists of Grand Alliance to be vigilant enough to resist the evil forces willing to foil the upcoming election. Now international news. At least 12 people have been killed, including a police officer, at a country music bar in Thousand Oaks of California in the United States. Police said 10 other people were also wounded following the shooting incident that happened about 65 kilometer northwest of Los Angeles. At least 200 people were reportedly inside the border, borderline bar and grill which was hosting a university student night at the time of the attack yesterday. Officials say suspect who has not been identified was found dead inside. They have not yet confirmed any motive behind the attack. President Donald Trump tweeted this morning to say he has been in briefed on, on the shooting, describing it as, as a terrible and praising the bravery of the police officers involved. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has been fired by President Donald Trump. Mr. Trump had criticized his top law official for months, mainly over his refusal to oversee the investigation into alleged Russian meddling in favor of Mr. Trump's election in 2016. Mr. Sessions' chief of staff Matthew Whitaker, who has criticized the inquiry, will take over temporarily. Special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating alleged collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Mueller's wide-ranging investigation has resulted in a series of criminal charges against several Trump associates. U.S. President Donald Trump said he expects to meet again with North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un early next year. The announcement on Wednesday came after a meeting, with, meeting between U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and North Korean officials supposed to have taken place this week was rescheduled. Pompeo had been due to hold talks in New York on Thursday with senior North Korean official Kim Yong-chol aimed at paving the way for a second Kim Trump summit and at making progress on denuclearization. Denmark government will provide additional 65 crore taka to implement Bangladesh country program. An agreement to this effect was signed in Dhaka today between Bangladesh and Denmark. Additional Secretary of Economic Relations Division Sultana Froze and Danish Ambassador to Bangladesh Winnie Stroke Peterson have signed the agreement on behalf of their respective sides. According to the agreement, the additional money will be spent for the implementing three thematic programs of agricultural growth and employment and climate change and sustainable energy. Army Chief General Aziz Ahmed has handed over a national flag to the battalion commander of the 40 East Bengal Regiment mechanized for being the best or all-rounder unit of overall consideration at Chotogram Cantonment today. At the function, the Army Chief urged the members of the regiment to be always ready to make highest sacrifice in protecting the dignity of the national flag they were awarded in recognition of their efficiency, hard exercise and dutifulness. He termed attaining the national flag as a matter of dignity and glory for any unit in any force, saying that it is the symbol of national independence and sovereignty.
General Aziz expected the parade riding an open jeep and then took salute from the parade. Later in the afternoon, the army chief inaugurated the Tiger Museum at East Bengal Regiment Centre and joined the graduation ceremony of officers' granary staff corps. Now news on sports. Dhaka Abahani reached to the semi-final of Federation Cup football, beating Aramba Krira Chakro by three goals to two today. At the Bangabundi National Stadium, Shariar Bappi and Bobox Nauf Kovalian scored two goals for Arambag in the 7th and 33 minutes of the match, respectively. Sunday, Chizova scored first goal for Abahoni in the 30th minute, while Sohil Rana scored the second one in the 44th minute. Kervin's Fields Belfort scored the match deciding goal for Abahoni in the additional time for the match. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Schedule for 11th parliamentary elections declared voting on 23rd December. CEC announces schedule at televised address to the nation. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurates Ramul Regional Headquarters and Naran Gonj and Ghazipur Battalions of BGB. Prime Minister's dialogue with political parties, a huge milestone in country's history, says Abadul Qadir. All political parties should take part in election thrust on people's mandate, says Health Minister Mohammad Nasir. Level playing fields for all ensured, no room for conspirators in election says Information Minister Sanul Haq Inu. California shooting in USA kills at least 12, including police officer. And Dhaka Bahani reaches semi-final of Federation Cup football, beating Aramba Krira Shangsta by three to two goals. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. Good afternoon.